You could debate back and forth whether you believe that Patrick Hoban cheated. I don't feel like he cheated, nor do I feel like this is relevant enough to incite some type of action from ARG. Because it wasn't straight up cheating. If it was, then I guess we wouldn't even have a conversation. But I think this is simply yet again another example of people expecting those that are somewhat respected, somewhat thought of in high regard to not do dumb shit. He is human, just like us, bound to do dumb shit. Now, I can appreciate the attempt that he made to try to one-up his opponent. It was a tad bit silly. He went the roundabout way, and it ended up not working for him, but I personally can appreciate what he tried to do. I do not think that this is going to cause enough of a backlash for ARG to be forced to get rid of Patrick Coburn, or at least do something about him, because he didn't actually cheat. I think this was just yet another opportunity for people that didn't like the guy to talk about him. He's such this, he's a douche and this and that. Okay, cool, whatever. That's great and all, but emotions don't typically make money. And I would imagine that Alter Reality Games cares about the business. And if there would be any type of threat to their business, then they would make the decision according to the business. Now, as far as what he actually did, yes, it was quote unquote, a gentleman's agreement. What I would have even offered this shit? Fuck no, because if this is a tournament. Necros is the best deck. A lot of people say this shit. A lot of you agree with this crap. So it is allegedly the best deck. Why in the fuck would I be playing the best deck and take out one of my trump cards against the mirror match? I understand it was a gentleman's agreement, and apparently Patrick Coburn had agreed to it. It is nobody's fault that he just happens to have one in the main and one in the side. He swapped one out, but nobody expected two in the main and the side, and he does not deny what the fuck he did. So, yes, it was a bit underhanded. He still ended up losing, so it's kind of like karma, bitch. But I don't expect this shit to do anything. He's probably still going to be employed or sponsored, whatever the fuck he is, the ARG. He has still made an impact in the game, good or bad. That shit will not stop. We're going to see if this incited enough of a response from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community to force ARG to make a decision about him. But I don't think it's that serious. Sure, you could talk about it, have like one or two videos talking about it. Did he cheat? I don't know. Technically, the Kanada thing. It fuck all that. It's just not important. What matters is, is what ARG chooses to do. If they keep him, nothing's going to happen. Streams are going to happen. People are still going to watch. People are still going to follow what Patrick Hoban's doing. This is just a temporary thing just because, oh my God, he's Patrick Hoban. I think if anybody else, if it was like a virtual nobody that did this shit, it would not matter. But when it's a somewhat celebrated player doing something stupid, it's been taken out of proportion. But then again, this is an opinion from a person that has admittedly done stupid shit in the past and admittedly did it and didn't exactly feel bad for it because of the decision that was made. He admitted what he did and he didn't seem sorry about it. He did what he did. It backfired. That's it. He made the decision. You can't guilt somebody into feeling bad about something that he made a conscious decision of. He didn't have to make that decision, but he did. But that's just me.